Assalamualaikum class. Welcome you all in the new lesson for the revision of this topic from the D1 book D1 chapter number nine, which is ratio rate speed. So here it's me, Shabazz Hussain. Moving on, first we have to define what is ratio. Ratio is a comparison of between two different kind of quantities, two different kind of things. If you have a, a five pencil and you have a three razor, so the uh, ratio between pencil and the razor is five ratio three. So this is called basically the comparison between two quantities is called a ratio and the rate is basically the quantity which have some type of difference which have some type of division and uh, this kind of call is called rate. Rate is basically the kilometer per hour and meter per second when we are going to calculate a comparison between two real life quantities, two real life units which we can uh, really which we can exactly calculate in the real life uh, real life problems which we have a uh, is like speed time graph so in the kilometers per hour is the ratio between uh, distance and time so this is called basically the rate rate is a ratio that compare quantities in different units and next is the unit rate a rate that has a denominator of one which have a one unit is called a unit rate next moving on how to write the ratio so first we have to know that how, what is ratio, ratio is basically the difference and the division between two quantities, a ratio compares two quantities through division. So if we consider an example in the United States about 10 out of 15 people eligible to vote are registered to vote. So <coughs> 10 out of 15 people uh, eligible and registered to vote. So total people are 15 and the 10 are eligible to vote. So how we can write the ratio? in this form so we can say that 10 to 15 or 10 ratio 15 this column is called the ratio sign or 10 divided by 15 this is also called a ratio sign 10 divided by 15 or in a simplest form it is called 2 over 3 uh, among three peoples two peoples are eligible among three peoples two peoples are eligible to vote so when we are going to solve the ratios question we have to answer in the simplest form every time you have to give your answer in the simplest form so whatever the ratios is you have to subtract you have to divide the ratio with the same number uh, this in this ratio you can see that 5 is divided with the two numbers so 5 to the 10 and 5 3 the 15 so we got 2 over 3 so you don't cut it these quantities with the different numbers or uh, you are or you are going to cut this quantity 10 with the 2 or uh, divide in the quantity 15 with the 3 so this is not possible in the ratio you have to divide the quantity with the same number with the same number so uh, you have to give the simplest answer in this ratio type question so moving on and the, the, the note is a, is i explain that always give your answer in simplest form next moving on question number one question number one is say that how many circles two squares so there are total seven circles and total five squares so we can write as a ratio is seven to five or seven over five so there is a simplest form because both the number are different next is circle to cloud how many circles to cloud so we know that there are seven circles and clouds are three so we can say that the ratio is seven ratio three or seven divided by three next cloud to circle cloud is three first quantity is cloud and second quantity is circle so we can say that th this is 3 ratio 7 and the circles to all figures circles is 7 and the all figures are 5 to 8 so we can say that it is, this is 15 total 7 and 8 15 so circles to all figures is 3 ratio 15 now we can simplify this quantity 3 1s are 3 and 3 5s are 15 so we can say that the ratio is 1 ratio 5 S clouds to all figures is 1 ratio 5 next all figures to square all figures are 15 and squares are 5 so when we are going to simplify this so we can cut out a uh, cut both the quantity with 5 5 ones are 5 5 threes are 15 so we can say that this is a 3 ratio 1 there we have a uh, compulsory to write one 3 ratio 1 right or in this uh, next part is squares to all figures so square we have squares are 5 and the all figures are 15 so this is 5 ratio 15 5 to 15 now we have to cut this with the 5 5 ones are 5 threes are 15 so 1 ratio 3 is the simplest answer so in the ratio you have to put the quantities and simplify your quantities in the simplest form 
so you got complete whole marks full marks in the paper so next moving on question number 2 is a geometrical question the width of this rectangle is 3 inches and the length of this rectangle is 12 inches and now we are going is saying that length to width so length is 12 and width is 3 so it becomes 12 ratio 3 which becomes 4 ratio 1 and next is width to length so width is 3 and length is 12 so we can say that 1 ratio 4 1 time is the width 4 time is the length so it is the simplest form of this, these parts question number 2 next moving on to the topic is uh, speed so first we have to uh, explore the formula which is speed distance time so in speed distance time you can s memorize this formula with this uh, with this short form standard dialing tone standard dialing tone speed distance time standard dialing tone so when we are explored the formula there we have three quantities s for speed d for distance and s for time uh, t for time so when we are going to calculate the speed so we can say that speed is equals to distance over time speed is equals to distance per unit time how much distance is covered in the time or when we going to calculate the distance we can say that distance is equal to speed into time because time is multiplied with here when we are going to calculate distance time is multiplied with the speed and we are going to calculate the time so time is equal to distance over speed so these two quantities replace their places time is moving this side and speed is moving in the denominator so in the short form you can write as s is equals to d over t d is equals to s into t and t is equals to d over s so this is the standard dialing tone standard dialing tone standard dialing tone so next moving on we are going to solve the questions of this topic question number three is how far fast was a lorry drive for 50 miles in 5 hours and 30 minutes so how fast is he said that how fast fast means speed so we are going to calculate the speed in this question so uh, formula is speed is equals to distance over time so uh, by using the values in the formula we know that distance is 450 kilometer 450 kilometers and uh, time is 5 hours and 30 minutes and 30 minutes you do not you don't write it as 5.30 because there are 30 minutes or this is a 0.5 the whole one is equals to 60 minutes and 0.5 half is equals to 30 minutes so in the rough work you can say that 30 minutes to convert into point into whole number so you can just divide it with the 60 how much how many many minutes are there you just divide with the 60 because in one hour there are 60 minutes so 30 divided by 60 we got 0 0.5 or 1 over 2 now we are going to use this time 5.5 in the formula so the values are 450 divided by 5.5 this is 81.8 km per hour 81.8 km per hour so this is the rate of this speed 81.81 km per hour is the answer of question number 3 next question number 4 is he said that how far did a plane go if it travels 450 km per hour for 5 hours and 50 minutes so he said that how far to find the distance to find the distance of the plane how far how long is the plane travels 450 km with the speed of 450 km so you know that the distance is equal to speed into time we have the value of speed and we have also have the value of time now putting the values in the formula 450 is the speed 5.25 is the time so 0.25 because 15 minutes so 15 divided by, again how many minutes are there you have just divided with the 60 15 divided by 60 is 0.25 hours so 5.25 hours is the time now using the values in the formula 450 multiplied by 5.25 we got the answer 2362.5 kilometers is the distance which the plane covered in with the speed and the time 2362.25 kilometers is the distance next moving on these are the homework question question number one the class has 30 students 14 are girls he says that girls to boys ratio so 14 are girls the remainings are boys so you know how to calculate the boys and the second one is boys to girls and girls to all students and boys to all students so this is the ratios next question number two how long will a train take to travel with the six six seven point five kilometer at 89 km per hour so he gave us the distance and the speed 
so you have to calculate the time time is equals to distance over speed so this is the formula to calculate this question number two next moving question number three a train travel 555 miles at an average speed of 60 miles per hour distance and speed so again you have to calculate the time so the formula is time is equals to distance over speed so you just put the values in the formula simplify the answer so you got the answer so thanks for watching be conscious about the homework give your response of the homework take care allah Hafiz.